Welcome to the Metal Roofing Learning Channel's Standing Seam Series. We've teamed up with the experts at Revamp Roofing to bring you everything you need to know to install a standing seam. We will be releasing a new standing seam installation video weekly. Check out our Standing Seam Installation Series playlist. Link in the description or subscribe so you don't miss out on our next video. There are two popular types of eave trim that are typically used on standing seam roofs. Eave trim with a bullnose drip edge or eave trim with joggle cleats. The panels will hook over and hold without a screw penetrating the metal. In addition, this method of attachment will allow the standing seam panels to expand and contract. When installed correctly, there will be a quarter inch to half inch gap for thermal movement. It's a personal preference between the two types of eave systems. However, Joggle cleat has more parts and does take longer to install when compared to a bullnose drip edge. In this video, we'll show you how to install eave trim with a joggle cleat. This is the Metal Roofing Learning Channel. Yeah! Brought to you by Western States Metal Roofing, where you can find a variety of colors and finishes, all while saving by buying factory direct. Click the link above for your free quote today. Use of the following video content is subject to the warning, disclaimer of warranties, and limitation of liability as set forth on this screen. For this installation, these are the parts that are required. In this video, we'll walk you through laying out your trim, installing an optional fascia wrap, installing trim cleat, Cutting and finishing eave trim at gable ends, overlapping eave trim, fastening eave trim, and installing a joggle cleat. Layout. Prior to installation, it's best to plan the layout of your panels and trim. For example, a standard length of eave trim is 10 feet. If your roof is 32 feet wide, you'll end up with a small two foot piece of trim on one side. A better layout will begin with a 6-foot piece, then two standard 10-foot pieces, and end with a 6-foot piece of trim. Symmetry in your layout will always lead to a better overall aesthetic. When planning your layout, don't forget to account for 6 inches needed at overlaps, and 1 inch needed at gable ends. The trim cleat plays a vital role in keeping your eave trim in place. It is installed onto the fascia or directly over the optional fascia wrap. Place a section of eave trim in its position and trace the lower edge. Using this line as a guide, begin installing your trim cleat at the outline. Fasten the trim cleat with pancake screws 12 inches on center. Additional sections of trim cleat are simply butted end to end. No overlaps are needed. Preparing eave trim at gable end. Measure the distance of trim needed and add one inch for a tab. Mark a 45 degree line at the drip edge of the trim. Using metal cutting snips, begin cutting along your outline. When cutting at the tab, cut the corners at a 45 degree angle. Mark a straight line at the top section of the trim. Continue cutting along your mark. Using a hand seamer, bend the tab downwards 90 degrees. The tab should fall flush along the gable side of your roof. Overlapping. 
Overlaps of trim should be 6 inches. Start by marking 6 inches onto your trim. Cut up to the 6 inch mark. At the drip edge, begin notching out the hem of the trim up to the 6 inch mark. On the adjacent piece, notch cut the hem up to the 6 inch mark. Two beads of silicone sealant should be placed 3 inches from the edge of the trim. Slide your trim upwards into its position to prevent the silicone from spreading. Fastening Eve Trim when installing your eave trim, you should first hook the lower section onto the trim cleat. Trim should be fastened using pancake screws 12 inches on center. Always remove protective plastic during installation. Installing Joggle Cleat The purpose of a joggle cleat is to provide an attachment point for standing seam roofing. Start by placing a strip of double-sided butyl tape onto the lower side of your joggle cleat. The joggle cleat will overhang the eave one and a half inches from the edge. Align the joggle cleat in its position. Make sure it overhangs the eave one and a half inches. Outline the top edge. Next, remove the backing from the double-sided butyl tape and securely press the cleat into its position. Fasten the joggle cleat with pancake screws 12 inches apart along the path of the double-sided butyl tape. Looking for more standing seam installation videos? Be sure to like and subscribe as we release new videos weekly. If you're installing a standing seam roof, then you will need to learn how to install gable flashing and a ridge cap. Check out these installation videos and more 